Yeah, I've been um, fairly buried in the in the shed lately, uh, just trying to yeah keep my mind on the world of the shed rather than the world of what's going on outside of that. Uh, my name's Tom. Uh, I'm a Melbourne artist, originally from Central Victoria, and uh, the work I've got exhibited here today is all um, wrought iron, steel furniture, and sculpture. This is yeah, this is the matchbook chair I call it, um, and I suppose that kind of the name kind of ended up being derived from these little matchbooks that I often light my cigarettes with. That um, the matches always seem to kind of curl up and do this weird sort of pattern that kind of reminded me of what I was doing with the chair, so it landed that name. A lot of the colours came from matchbooks as well, funnily enough. Um, I had bought this big collection of old matchbooks a few years back from a guy at a swap meet. He just amounted this, amassed this lifetime collection of matchbooks and I just loved all the little designs on them and the colours ended up coming from those <laughs> matchbooks. I suppose inspired by the wrought iron of the suburbs was the um, a kind of intent of looking at this kind of decorative architectural element and whether or not that decorative element could sort of um, transpire into something like a piece of furniture. Everything's just cold bent um, using a very primitive tool um, which basically consists of two pins and the, the steel is yeah literally just um, hand bent um, by myself, cold in a vice between these pins and um, what I'll often do is sketch out something on the floor like a profile or something like that just in chalk and then kind of do this process of taking it between the floor and the vice and trying to get things to match up and line up and be symmetrical mm. um, but it's got a lot of give to it and you can see that even just sort of in the movement of the chair itself it has this kind of a flex it wants yeah. to kind of bounce around Which a bit. Which is, I would say, it's one of the very unique aspects mm. of it. Like yeah. Uh, it, it does have a bit of movement in it, which you don't really think of steel as yeah. um, having this sort of pliable quality to it.